You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rudrance for our Black and White Sports 2. Well, one thing I didn't expect to see on Colin Cowherd's Twitter was him out there talking up the up, upcoming incoming red wave when all the Republicans will vote out so many Democrats around the country and retake the seats that we desperately need and these governors uh, flip some of these states from blue over to red. Colin Cowherd went on his Twitter and actually said, we've got a red wave a-coming. He also went against the grain when he come out yesterday and admitted he absolutely loves Elon Musk having bought Twitter and the fact that it's pissing everybody off. Uh, okay, um, Colin's got a segment where Colin was right. Well, you got this one right, Colin. Let's go Elon first, and then we'll take a little look at your tweet from yesterday. And then somebody rebuttaled to Colin, by the way, on his tweet. And he immediately came back and said, I don't give two Fs. <laughs> oh, they're, they're big time mad. Colin Cowherd loves that Elon Musk is driving everybody crazy after Twitter purchase. Fox Sports' Colin Cowherd is a big fan of Elon Musk purchase of Twitter and the public's adverse reaction to the purpose purchase after months of back and forth with Twitter executives Musk finally bought Twitter and fired up top executives at the company as one of his first business decisions late last week in the third and final hour of Wednesday's episode of the herd we call it cowherd cowherd opened his segment by telling his audience how much he enjoyed the fact that Musk bought Twitter. Let's just listen to this. I love it. I like that Elon Musk makes everybody uncomfortable. I, I like discomfort. It makes me laugh. And it, he's freaking everybody out. And everybody's going to leave Twitter. And you know nobody's going to leave Twitter. They threaten to leave Twitter. And they won't leave Twitter. And it's just every cats and dogs live. I'll pay eight bucks a month. I do like how he... <laughs> he just said, every, everybody... Is threatening to leave Twitter, and they're not going to leave Twitter. He said, I'll pay eight bucks a month. <laughs> now, that's funny. Co-host Jason McIntyre found it funny that Musk, the wealthiest man in the world, wanted to give power to the average person. Quote, I do like how he's like, let's bring the power to the people, says the richest man on the face of the earth. McIntyre added, little comical, but come on, Elon, seriously. Cowherd doubled down on his love after public reaction that followed the announcement. He charges eight bucks a month. Cowherd continue. I think it's worth eight bucks a month. Got to have multiple revenue streams in any business. People don't like it though. People are freaking out. Colin is right about that. Let's get to this tweet because it came out of nowhere. It was really unexpected from Cowherd, who admittedly he leans left. He he's been very vocal about that. He leans left. But he's just letting the Democrats know you messed with people's kids and you pissed a lot of people off, even people that were left of center. Red Wave is coming Tuesday. Don't mess with people's kids. It lands differently. And they will hold a grudge. That's right. Just look at Virginia. Can't blame them. That's my TED Talk. They're going to come for you on this one, Colin. Couldn't give two Fs. I lean mostly left, but the data clearly proved kids 18 and under were safe, yet held out of schools, test scores have plummeted, suicides have risen, chaos for parents, just a sad reality of ignoring data, a price will be paid, and hopefully a lesson learned. Yeah, they won't learn a lesson, Colin. We know better than that. Maybe the voting booth, maybe, but I seriously doubt it. The Democrats are so far absurdly left that I, I think that party is completely lost. I truly do. By the way, his tweet got 80,000 likes. 80,000 likes. Wow. Oh, so he pissed the lefties off big time yesterday.
Well, I mean, look, he admitted, I, I lean left, but I don't give a F if you don't like my comment or not. It is what it is. You mess with people's kids, and that's where a lot of this is coming from. There was data that came out. Sonny Hostin made a repugnant comment about white uh, white women, I think it was, voting Republican. Well, part of that, and I'm just going to keep it real, and look, it's women of a lot of different ethnicities, too, because I've seen them on Fox. I've seen them on Newsmax. I've seen them talking on social media. You messed with people's kids in a lot of different ways, whether it's CRT, whether it's the vaccines, the, the school closures, the, uh, the uh, pushing any kind of political ideologies in the school, uh, getting involved with things involving, you know, things of a sexual nature that the kids shouldn't have to be involved with when it comes to public school and being young, just grows. And yeah, parents, I believe, are going to be largely responsible for the red wave coming. Look, like I said, this is where Colin was right. Sometimes he's wrong. He was right this time. So I, I just had to do a video on this. And he, he loves the fact that Elon's pissing in everybody's Cheerios. I do, too. I do, too. I like that he's shaking it up. And I have no issues with $8 a month. AOC can cry her bleeping eyes out. I almost said it. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Black and White Network supporters, make sure you go over and check out the Black and White Network merchandise store. 25% off. USA First. 25% off. USA First. Go now. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.